Hello everybody, in today's tutorial we shall learn how to verify tooltips using Selenium. Now note that what is a tooltip? In certain websites when you hover your mouse over certain elements you see a pop-up appearing like these ones right here in black. As well as in Amazon as well if you hover your mouse over certain elements like this button you see a pop-up appearing as well. These pop-ups are called as your tooltips. There are two types of tooltips. Certain tooltips like this one right here, let me inspect this particular button. They, these buttons have got an attribute called as title. And the value of that particular attribute, title, is your tooltip. The value of this is search in, therefore your tooltip will have the value search in. Whereas there are certain other tooltips, for example these ones right here, they do not have such an attribute. For example, let me inspect this one. So as you can see, this is a button. It has got the attributes ID, type, class, but it does not have the attribute called as title. This one is a bit trickier to verify. Let us start with a simple one that is um, those elements that have got the, the attribute called as title. So the steps are pretty much simple. Find out a particular element and simply go ahead and find out the value of the attribute title. So I'm navigating to the website called Amazon. So here we go, Amazon. Next step, I'm going to verify um, or identify this specific button. So this button has got the ID. Let me move this here. Uh, the ID called as search dropdown. So let me copy that. Let me do driver dot find element by id and paste in the id so this is my element so elements what i want i want the elements attribute so get attribute here we go and what attribute do i want i want the attribute called has title so title what i can do is i can pass this to any method in your framework which does the verification what I mean is there are certain methods like dot verify or maybe dot check something like that in your organization in your framework go ahead and pass that so this is your actual you expected and you're done the tooltip is verified for now what we'll do is we simply go ahead and print out the value of the tooltip to make sure it works so here we go I'm saving this I'm executing it and hopefully it works Let me go back to Eclipse and as you can see the value search in which is the value of the tooltip is displayed on your console successfully. Now let us see how to do the more, the more difficult one that is tooltips that do not have the attribute called as title. For such a particular scenario, you have to go ahead and identify the tooltip itself. Not the element that has a tooltip, but the tooltip itself. So let me close this browser, open up this one right here. And uh, this one has got this tooltip. So the moment I hover my mouse over the button, the tooltip appears. But when I go there, it disappears. This is a challenge. So what we are going to do is in order to spy the attributes of the tooltip, see it's not working, right? The moment I go and inspect, it just disappears. So in order to spy the, spy the specific tooltip, we are going to freeze or pause the entire web page. Now how to do that? Simply go to this tab is elements, right? Go to the tab called as sources and in sources, you'll be getting the specific button called as pause, right? This pause thing right here. So what you want to do is simply go here and um, okay when I go to pause as you can see there is a shortcut called as F8 or you can do control and backslash is given right there. So hover your mouse over the tooltip and simply go ahead and press F8 or control backslash. Okay move your mouse a bit and as you can see the moment something changes on the web page the entire web page freezes. It's frozen. Now you can go back to elements, take the particular spy tool, spy on the tooltip, and therefore you can see this is the tooltip. It has got a class called as tooltip inner. 
Now, most of the tool types will be having similar classes, but it's always good to first find out because sometimes organizations change these classes. So let us go back to Eclipse. So let me just type in element tooltip is equal to I think I've done something element instance element tooltip is equal to uh, driver dot find element by class name and the class name is tooltip inner here we go I think I made a mistake over here it's our element is web element I'm so sorry guys web element tooltip and this is a tooltip now we have a different challenge here as well is find the tooltip we have identified but even when we are going ahead and performing the automation okay, let me just go ahead and play this we know required to be paused right here we go is that even if we are going to verify if I just go and verify the tooltip it is going to fail because right now there is no tooltip for example um, we change the URL as well to demo QA here we go let me execute this the execution stops I mean, sorry, the execution starts as you can see there is no tooltip present therefore I think it should fail as you can see no tooltip found it failed right here there is no tooltip found so in order for the tooltip to be found I need to hover my mouse over that button as well now that can be done by using the action class for those who do not know action class refer to my previous tutorial I will be giving the link so to do that simply type in actions given give it any name I normally prefer it action is equal to new actions type in the driver inside of the parentheses close this and using the object of action you can then go ahead and use a command called as move to element now what is the element the element is going to be the button so this button right here so go ahead and inspect the attributes of the button the button is having the id call as tooltip button so let me type in driver dot find element by sorry by id then type in the id here we go okay. I made a mistake over here by id and then type in the id okay now you can do it like this but if this is getting a bit confusing you can simply just go ahead and do something like this save the web element as button find element by id and you can do something like this as well if this makes you guys more comfortable so we are take we are saving the button we are finding it by id tooltip button we are then doing actions move to element that specific button once we do that dot dot build one second dot build dot perform dot build dot perform is something which you have to do otherwise it's not going to be executed so once you do that your mouse is going to move over the button your tooltip will appear but it might take a few seconds for it to appear so just type in red dot sleep and let's wait for two seconds that should be enough now guys you can either wait for two seconds or you can go ahead and perform and explicit wait over here but that can be your homework so now let me save this uh, now the tooltip is found once the tooltip is found you can then go ahead and print the text of the tooltip okay so tooltip dot get text let me save this let me execute this and hopefully it should work here we go As you can see, the tooltip is now being seen. And if I go to my code, you have hovered over the button. So your code is working perfectly fine. 
So guys, that is it for this tutorial. And uh, if you like my series on Selenium, do show your support by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys for watching.